of your fetal circulation. So first of all, the blood arrives from the uh, maternal blood via the um, umbilical vein, and that's an oxygenated blood. That's the only vein other than the pulmonary vein, which carries oxygenated blood in the human body. So it travels along, and then instead of going to the liver, it's shunted through the ductus venosum, and that sh shunts it away from the liver as this blood has already been um, uses the maternal uh, hepatic function and also the um, fetal liver is, is not yet developed yet fully. So into the IVC it goes and then it goes into the right atrium and once entering the right right atrium it goes across the foramen ovale into the left atrium and these both the right atrium and the left atrium in the fetal circulation are at the equal pressure and this is important as it gives the time for the uh, right ventricle to develop fully um, and also it shunts going uh, through the most of the blood going through the um, pulmonary artery as it's not required. The blood that does go through the pulmonary artery, um, small amount of blood will go to continue to perfuse the lungs, but the rest of it will be shunted across the ductus arteriosum, and that shunts between the pulmonary artery and the um, aortic um, arch, and that means that you don't need to um, um, perfuse lungs that are not being um, ventilated yet and so this means that mixed blood travels to the head and the body and back to the placenta via the aorta so let's see what happens when you take your first breath so the uh, ductus venosum sphincter will constrict and that means that blood will be shunted to the liver for the first time there'll be a massive drop in pulmonary resistance with surfactant um, in, in the lungs uh, when you take your first breath in this will increase blood flow back to the left atrium and this will mean that the left atrial pressure is greater than the right atrial pressure for the first time and this should cause your foramen ovale to slam shut. Other things that will drop the right atrial pressure will be that once the uh, umbilical vein constricts and the ductus venosum constricts as well you'll have a massive drop in the pressure in your IVC which will uh, again lower the right atrial pressure causing the foramen ovale to close. So once you start um, oxygenating your blood properly, you have an increase in O2 and this decreases the prostaglandin secretion and this will eventually close your ductus arteriosum um, and that will happen in the first one to two days. So finally, the fetal structures, um, the foramen ovale will become the fossa ovalis the fetal, uh, the um umbilical vein will become the ligamentum teres, and that can be recannulated in times of um, portal hypertension, and you get this caput medusa spoken about earlier. And then the ductus venosum becomes the ligamentum venosum, and finally the ductus arteriosum becomes the ligamentum arteriosum.